Well, I understand uh, where you're coming from. Colonization of the third world started with global business intention, not for ruling countries. British and East India Company and even the bigger one, the Dutch East India Company called VOC, they owned armies and navies, engaged in wars with all kinds of predatory practices, primarily to corner trading opportunities. Okay, so it's it's very tempting to think of these super large tech companies like Meta, Apple, Google, Facebook, etc., Amazon, uh, all, and uh, that they have this intention of conquering the world. They have, in fact, conquered large parts of the world market across sectors, across countries. So I can understand where this colonization thing is coming from. Uh, but there, that's more or less where the comparison ends. Uh, see, these guys, these large MNCs, they don't respect residency in any country. If Ireland offers them uh, a low tax regime, they'll move their main engine, which is the IP, into Ireland. That's what it is now. Tomorrow, they move it to some other place if better opportunities arise uh, in terms of uh, economics. They just don't bother about geographies. They're borderless. And they don't differentiate between the purse of an American customer or a Malaysian customer or an Indian customer. They're just colonizing the whole world in that sense. So they want to rule the world and they want to rule the trade. And they don't need armies and navies. They just need technology. They're investing heavily in it. And therefore, it looks scary. Okay. But at the same time, if you recall, two years ago, soon after the COVID uh, pandemic, these guys are ruling the world and it looked like nobody else would and they would actually concentrate power further. But all of a sudden, you see the likes of NVIDIA coming in. It's not uh, the TSMGs of the world, which were like TSMG was the king of the computer chip market. But uh, everyone's talked about NVIDIA. It's, it's uh, market cap is going up and up and up every day because they are controlling a large part of the AI chip market. So with the advent of Gen AI, uh, a lot of money is going there, a lot of uh, spending is going to happen there and uh, NVIDIA is ruling the AI chip market set. <clears throat> so if I go back to Gen AI for a minute, uh, many people would believe that the leaders and the large language models or the foundation models uh, have out the world between them of everyone else. In fact, when Sam Altman had come to India recently, a few months ago, he said, no, oh, there's no point in trying to create another LLM for India because it costs billions of dollars. Well, it used to cost billions of dollars. It's not anymore a billions of dollars and millions of dollars. So we see two very important things happening, um, which will uh, suggest that it's not like uh, colonization which happened in the olden days. First of all, there are more big ones that will come in. Even in India, at least two big which will be launched soon. One is by the founder of Ola, uh, Reliance and IIT Bombay are working on something else. There'll be uh, there are others also. So at least two big ones will come in. Second point is that there are at least a thousand smaller LLMs right now in the world. A thousand. When I wrote my annual paper in December, there were a couple of hundreds. Now it's really uh, the when I say these uh, small LLMs, they use the open source models of these older versions of the foundation models like uh, Llama or uh, BERT or GPT-2. <clears throat> and then around it creates a no-code products, which are uh, by either fine-tuning the thing according to the requirement, or they have another thing called another method, which is simpler. I don't want to get into the technical technicalities, <clears throat> but the point is that there will be many new small LLMs. I know it sounds ridiculous to say small large language models, but the point is there will be similar small ones and thousands of tens of thousands by the end of 2024. Some will even come in the form of chatbots, AI chatbots. Others will be personal assistants. And personal assistants are going to be a big thing, you know, and very soon, a personal assistant, your personal assistant will talk to the, if you like, like you got a complaint about 
some uh, brands refrigerator you bought it that brand will not have a, a tele uh, operator at the end or agent at the other end but it will be a, a software agent and it will be one your personal assistant which is an ai assistant talking to the ai assistant of the company or ai agent of the company so we are entering the field of multi agent systems and that's going to change the world in 2024 uh, even more so in 2025 so all these small llms will end up in the, doing these things and they'll be designed for a purpose others will be there'll be others handling uh, our powering hardware devices like gravitar which is released uh, a couple of months ago so there'll be lots of uh, players uh, the winners in 2020 uh, 2023 will not be the winners of 2028 So, like the British East India Company and the VOC, the Dutch company, which got wiped out, some of the existing players who are not agile enough will get wiped out, so, or they will be there, and there will be additional players coming in. So, the field is completely open to the brave, and we do not have to really uh, make a strict comparison between what's happening today, uh, although it looks like uh, a few people are ruling the world, a few companies are ruling the world, and the Uh, colonizers like the Dutch and the British and the French and the all who did their job in the 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th century. Uh, but it's a new game, so I appreciate where your question is coming from.